Hello everybody and welcome back to another Skin Splash Art review. In today's review, we're going to be reviewing Prestige Battle Lion Leona. So, let's begin. Um, very, very purple. Very, very purple. I mean, compared to a Prestige Battle um, Cat Yumi, she was more like diamond and that was pretty much all the color was. But here we've got... Pretty much a very nice a range of colors. It seems to be like um, a galaxy effect, which I really like. Galaxy and um, galaxy and diamondy, uh, along with a little hint of blue, which I really, really, really like. Um, yeah, obviously the ears again. Uh, she's now got a crown, just like Yumi had uh, a visor. It again, it hasn't really gone for a Gucci look. It's gone slightly for the Gucci look compared to. Yumi, but it's not gone all the way. Gucci would be like, it'd be wearing all belts and everything, and it would look really stupid. Um, and, like, you know. This, I think, is just on the brink of being it. It's still fitting in with the battle thing. It's like if if she went to a, a modifications uh, lab and got everything modified and slightly more prestigious, which I'm I'm fine with. This this works. This is a, a good good splash out for a prestige skin, just like Yumi's was. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think earrings uh very cool earrings she's got purple eyes now she had yellow no orange or was yellow i don't remember hang on she had orange she had orange uh eyes so there, there's the comparison she's she's got a crop top uh and a, a diamond plate here in the middle uh the tie has sort of changed from that tie to sort of sapphire um tie then you've got the the, the cool Again, she's this has been the couch design has been changed to diamonds, which is interesting. Um and she's got a puffy puffy jacket just like uh who was it? it was, uh, Battle Bat Zaya. She had her uh, big puffy arms for some weird reason. I don't remember why, but I'm assuming it was something to do with how the champion works, but maybe not. Um and she's got shorts on, got a lion face, doesn't really look too much like a lion, but it looks more like a jaguar. But anyway. Um, again, the pore has been upgraded from there. It has been made bigger and it's now got a, uh, purple diamond shape, like well, not purple diamond shape, but purple diamond color. That's now been spread out a bit more, uh, spiky, spiky end of the, uh, blade. Then you've got the, the, the humongous shield that she carries around. And now it's been changed into more of a prestigious variant obviously gold mixed with purple mixed with sapphire mixed with aqua i guess aqua eyes um looking really stylish obviously the sun is uh changing everything and uh yeah i think that's most of the stuff i can say about this splash art she's always got purple hair fitting with the, the aesthetic this one was orange fitting with the aesthetic now it's purple really cool uh and yeah it seems i was right this seems to be an all Ooh, actually her dress has gone over the uh I just realized this over the, the banister. <laughs> I don't know why you'd have your dress go over the banister. I feel like it'd fall off. She's only got it tucked underneath the belt there. That I came on loose, which fall off the balcony. That's again. This this is the thing I noticed. Um, her the background. You can see there's no war going on. I think the prestige skin line is in a different alternate universe where there has been no war, which is interesting because I mentioned that uh, with Yumi's. If you look here, nothing's going on in the background. It's all peaceful compared to this where there's bombs going off and everything same location but peaceful so i think the prestige variants are in a different uh different timeline of where battle um anim squad would be so uh yeah i think that's a cool hint i think that the uh the skin line the the prestige variants are in a different timeline which would i think i haven't i don't remember pretty much um Jinx's one. I think Jinx's one was back when it, they were just turning the skin diamond. I mean, not diamond, gold. So they didn't change the background, but it seems they've gone for a peaceful variant. Obviously, you can see the doves flying in the sky or pigeons or seagulls flying over. So everything's peaceful here. So it's maybe a time where they might have defeated the Primordians, or this is before the Primordians come and they've just wearing Gucci here. Yeah, or like, you know, they're wearing swag. <laughs> but yeah, uh, she's obviously got boots on her down here. I forgot to mention that. She's got like a, a galaxy effect going on in the inside and then the outside's got the gold and purple again. And yeah, that seems to be absolute everything I can talk about here. Uh, she's got purple nails and gloves. Um, and what seems to be a bear pattern, but it could also be the sun on both sides. 
I think they want the Solari base version of her uh, champion. But yeah, uh, that is about everything I can say. I'm going to give this... I really like this one, along with how I liked Yumi's one, because obviously you got the, the background, it's in a peaceful universe. There's Yumi's crown, there's her crown. Um, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. I like it. I really do. It's a really good splash art. I think Leona mains are going to be happy. I don't... I th she did get another prestige recently, didn't she? She got the... Ba uh, acad bat yeah, Battle Academia, so now she got Battle Lions. Two battles, you can now choose uh, the Gona mains. You can either choose to be a battle uh, academia or you can be battle um, lion. Anyway, uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Let me know down below what you think. Would you have ra uh, rated it higher? Would you have rated it lower? Uh, why? Why not? Uh, will you be getting this skin? Will you be grinding the pass for it? Or will you end up getting uh, Prestige Yumi? Let me know. Um, love to hear your thoughts. Uh, and yeah, uh, hope to see you guys again soon. And um, yeah, bye-bye. Enjoy your day.